So five, ten minutes later, did Tomiyasu or did he not have a clear opportunity to redeem himself? With what? With, with the volley? They're sticking it over the fucking bar. Man, so, uh, right back taking the volley. What? No. Is this the Arsenal? <laughs> ah, back again at the Emirates. Three Points TV. Serve the T's big up dubs and states. I'm here with the mighty Marty. 3 1. We've lost to Man City. Arsenal versus Man City. Man City are now on top of the league. Um, however, Arsenal do have a game in hand. Mighty Lamp. Let's just get straight into it, bro. What a disappointment tonight, man. Come on, I, I know you've got a lot to say, mate. Right, from the jump. Tommy Asu, I, 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 look, I'll start. I respect Mikel Arteta hugely. I am not a fucking, anywhere near a greater fucking manager than him. No, uh, no, no, he, he doesn't even, what he's done this season, I respect him wholeheartedly, but why are you playing Tommy Asu instead of Ben White? But Tommy Asu ain't started a game for fuck knows how long. Ben White has started every fucking game and Tommy and my point is Tommy Asu give the fucking gut ball to fucking De Bruyne. He could have rekindled it though, come no, on man. No, he, no, had no, no, chance, he, gave, he had a chance. He had a chance to it in. Mate, Top bins. How can you not stick that in the fucking on, on target? On, on target. Just get it in the goal. Just somewhere in the goal. Get it on target. Makes a professional football player. It was on a plate to him. That's where you redeem yourself. That is why Ben White is better than Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu has not played consistently. He's not started. First game. I don't know why against Man City, the fucking, now they're top of the league, but the only team that are co uh, contesting and challenging us. Oh he's my, started, that's, the only, started, that's, the only, that's the only mistake and, he made. Come uh, on, uh, he he started, only... uh, right, and that, that, that got, he got the penalty. Fair, do you know what, in all fairness, from where I was sitting and what I saw, there was a penalty uh, that we should have had. I think the ref made some fucking shitty decisions um, and I'm not blaming. <laughs> all right, who's, who's to blame? All right, let's, let's go on to the second half now because, all right, we went into the interval 1-1. One, one. You know, Saka scored the penalty in the first half and it, it was kind of looking like it was going to go Arsenal's way. Um, however, obviously, second, second half was a bit, was, quite, was pretty poor. Um, especially the way we conceded the second goal. I mean, who gave away that ball? I mean, I would have to watch the repeat of that. Like, that, that was really poor. We started to give away the ball. It was really sloppy. Not only just Tommy Asu, but some of the players were just giving the ball away. Jo Jorginho, even from the off, from the beginning he gave the, uh, okay, gave uh, the ball Do you know what? One thing I will say on, on this, honestly, what I see at Jorginho, I might be completely wrong. He looked like a, he fitted straight in. He was bossing it. He was fucking like after after Tommy Asu, he he was in and around the players, and he showed to me from what I saw pitch side, he showed his class and he showed and he fitted straight in. And yeah. he didn't. I don't think personally he put a foot wrong. I really right. do not think that Jorginho like party being out. Okay, he's a huge, huge player. But Jorginho, for me, slotted straight in and did what we bought him for. Let's, let's and at, bring... at, at 13 million quid, it, 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 13 million quid looks like a fucking absolute snip. When he came on against Everton, he came on, the goal went, the goal went in, and I, you know he was a bit at sea. But he started, and do you know what? That was that's the positive that I take from this game. Yeah. That Jorginho is that player yeah. that can replace Thomas Partey without a doubt. But this. The Tomiyasu Ben White, we know our back four. We know yeah. it. We know we know the starting back four. We know we know what it is. Why? Why? I've got anything personally against Tomiyasu, but why would you play Tomiyasu? He ain't started a fucking game all season, apart from I think in Europa League. So why would you start him against Man City when Ben White is is there and he's ready to go? That's that's the point. That's that that is the, that is the point. That's the point. And the point uh, you challenge, challenge that. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Go on. The last few games, Ben White has not been up to the part. He's been. Bear in mind. He's playing out of position, so it's not his fault. He's not out Tom of position. Yassi, he's a right back. He's ben White's a right back. Where were we, what, position ben was he a right back. what position was he playing last season? Centre back, because we didn't back. have a centre back. Ah, cool, 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 cool. We didn't have a centre so back. So this season. So he had to, he's a utility. He, he's that Dude, good. Uh, he's that good. Uh, utility, utility, okay, okay, utility no, doesn't he's mean. He's that good, he's yeah. that good. But also, what I'm saying. It's Tom Yassi. Who, who got, Today he won, he was shit. He, he made a mistake, man. Tom Yassi last season was our ben, best ben right back. Ben White might not have, you know, up to par. Yeah. Has Ben White gifted a fucking player a goal? All season, has he done that? That's harsh, man. No, no has he? Why is, no. is giving the gift no. of the goal? Okay, no, he has, the rush for the has, goal. has Ben White? No, I'm, I'm, thank you. That's my point. I mean, Ben White has not gifted. That's harsh, isn't it? That's no, harsh. No, 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 no. no. Okay. 
it might be harsh. We're in the Premier League. Yeah. Premier League is harsh, yeah. and it is harsh, right? My point is, why would you make that change? Because Tommy Asu gave the goal away. We would have been one 0 up. Right, cool. That's the point. Shall I show you something? Right, cool. Let me respond to that. There was a chance where Tomiyasu whipped it across the face of goal and Nketi had an opportunity to throw himself at it. If Nketi had scored that, Tomiyasu's not the reason we lost that game. He's not. Okay. We didn't take the right. thin margins that Arteta And this okay, is so what that, I wanted to okay. ask, and this is what I wanted to ask my man. Eddie Nketiah. Come man. on, he had a, he had a chance but with it. He had the two, Zinchenko, three. Zinchenko, yeah. beautiful cross, yeah. header. I think he's had two. Football, it, in no, this game, okay. I saw two. Pretty, 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 pretty much, pretty can I go, much can clear can cut. Back back the last one, the last one. He's a professional footballer. And a very good point. And I will explain my Tommy Asu point. So, five, ten minutes later, did Tommy Asu or did he not have a clear opportunity to redeem himself? With what? With, with the volley? They're sticking it over the fucking bar. Man, so, uh, right back taking the volley? What? No, no, this no, guy's no. not Ronaldinho, okay, bro. No, 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 no. Je okay. Bellerin would have scored that. Are we saying that we should bring Bellerin back? Right. My point is to redeem yourself, yeah. and that's what happens in these big games. Yeah. Yeah? You make a mistake, you make a, you make a mistake, you can redeem yourself. You, that is what a yeah. quality player does, right? Now he didn't even get it on target. This is nuts. No, he I'm didn't saying get it on target. He, cool. My response is he redeemed himself when he created a chance for Eddie and Ketia to score in it. That whipping it across the, with that quality. He created a chance. Listen, mistakes happen in football, especially in, in, in top level of football. 100%. Unfortunately, that's where games are won and lost, isn't it? Yes. We lost today. We've got a game in hand. We can still go and do it. To say Ben White, it, it shouldn't be a problem if Ben White's not in the team and Tommy Asu's in the team. That's what a, a, a we Premier League... We see what's going on in training. Do you get Arteta it? picked the best side for today. I'm probably, I'm and probably, if he put... Um, um, was it... Um, oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. No, 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 but, no, no, but if Arteta put Tommy Asu ahead of Ben White, he sees something that Ben White isn't quite ready to be starting the game. Last two games, Ben White wasn't at, at, at the park. I mean, last two games, who's down? Tommy Asu is a class player. We had, a, I mean, the, the game he had today wasn't bad. He made a mistake. He didn't have a bad game. No, it's I don't. I don't believe okay. he made a mistake. It's a mistake. Okay. Personally, personally, that's yeah. a bad game. If you, <laughs> if you, if you, if if you fucking grant the ball to Kevin De Bruyne one on one with a keeper. You've had a bad game, and then you get an opportunity in front of goal to hit the target. I'm not even. I wasn't. What I'm saying, I'm not even expecting him to yeah. score that. Mm. I'm just saying, hit the target. Just stick it on target. If the keeper saved it, oh, you're a professional football player. I expect you. But when the ball is in front of you and you're at the edge of the penalty area, I expect you Where to was hit the, the target. Was the ball hair or was the ball? It was hair? there, mate. It was there. Was, mate, so he, he, he has to jump. Yeah, you know I mean, it, it's a volley, bro. We don't see volleys every week for a reason because it takes quality to score a volley. The guy's on the right back. Okay, so it takes quality. Yeah. So it takes quality yeah. to score that. Yeah. So he didn't have the quality because he didn't score. He's it. not a goal scorer though, isn't it? He's a right back. Like he's got forward. Do you get it? How many times does he see that right. position? Two levels of quality when you're up front yeah. to the guys at the back. At the back, it's a different. It's a different you know, I understand that. So then it would be the same as saying as a defender. I understand mistakes happen. I get that. Look, mistakes. The best players in the fucking world, like you know, make mistakes. I completely get that. I think Saliba made more mistakes than everyone on the pitch. Do you know what Brentford yeah. last week no, last today. week Saliba like I, I get that Saliba mate, that, that Brentford goal should have stood I don't know how it didn't and that's 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 the truth it but uh, the no, point today today the, the goal where they did that dummy Grealish's goal that's Saliba's fault if you actually look where's Saliba yeah, yeah, yeah. where is he yeah, yeah. but look, the point look, I'm, the point I'm getting at the point I'm getting at is what started that is but nice, Tommy nice, Asu God bless that. Good conversation. Good conversation. Tom, oh, nice Tom, Tom, Tommy Asu started instead of Ben White. Ben White has. Uh, listen, he has not been, in the last couple of games, he has not been the Ben White that we've come to know and love. He That's hasn't. Why Tommy he he, he hasn't. I, I get that. But the truth of the matter, Ben White has not done that all season. Ben, I have not seen Ben White all season. Give the ball, you, especially to a player like Kevin De Bruyne, one on one with a goal. Think, do you think it's a bit premature to be sort of, you know, having a go at, like, you know, Tommy no, Asu and Ben White? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. This is. I'm not saying we lost because of Tommy Asu. I, I, I really like Tommy Asu. I, I rate him. He's a top quality player. I yeah. really do. But. He has not started games. He has not started. Ben White started every game, and he hasn't. He's had bad games. But he has not is, made those however, mistakes. He but, hasn't. However, though, we've and, got another game to go now. So we've got another game against. I think we're playing of, against Aston Villa. Of course. Of course. The point. So the, don't, the, do, the, don't you think that is good for Tommy okay. Asu to get this one under his belt? 
like going in, you know. No, because going because that's going to knock his confidence. Now, Tommy Asu, and he got hooked off for Ben White. That I personally, I personally, I as anyway, a as someone honest. that watches football, I personally, honestly believe that was the wrong decision. I really do because. Tommy Asu gave the ball to De Bruyne, which caused, which caused that goal. Ben so White hasn't done that. Party. Ben Partey, White, you don't think Partey would have made an impact? I think he would have done. I think he would have held. Do you know what? Do you know what? As I say, the positive, so was the good. positive out of today's I know you game. Love Gino. Did you know no, no, no. Was good, I, I'm not saying I don't I, think um, I, they would have played the same game. Partey, if, I think if Partey was in there, I think he would have yeah. held it. Do, do you know what? The positive that I take out of this game is watching Jorginho and. He showed he, he is a class operator. He showed his his caliber. He showed what he's. You're that's the truth. You look like slow, the, the, the first goal was Tommy Asu's fault. I'm not. I'm not slandering him. I respect him. I rate him as a player. I really do. Do you know what? Last season, Tommy Asu was unbelievable. But Tommy Asu has not started games this season. And then Mikel Arteta puts him into the biggest, probably the biggest game of this season. Oh. Not the biggest game. The biggest game of this season. And he makes a mistake. Then he has an opportunity in front of goal. He doesn't hit the target. Target. I'm not saying I'm not blaming Tommy Asu for this defeat. I'm not saying, but what I'm saying is those those decisions change football games what like this, and they did. You, you think he could have done better with that second goal? Ra Listen, Ramsdale's a young goalkeeper, and I don't think until Ramsdale's probably maybe 26, 20, 30. Goalkeepers mature at 30 years old. That's a, that's a fact. That's when they're in. They mature late later on. They they he's really decent. do. They do. He's de he's decent. He makes some rash. <laughs> Make some rash decisions, goalkeepers do, Pete players make mistakes. So I think well. that, and then obviously we're 1 0 down. The ref, listen, yeah, I was the ref, ask about the ref. The ref, I think he tonight. was, I think he, I, I, from what I saw, some of the decisions were absolutely terrible. I really do. They, 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 it, they, they were completely biased. I think we should have had another penalty. I don't know. I haven't watched what I saw in front of me. That's all I can. I haven't there seen was, replays. There was a point where Saka was getting his shirt tucked. Mate, listen. No, um, Silver, and they didn't give nothing. Silver? Silver was like kicking him to bits. Yeah. First off. Yeah. Oh, and, 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 and again, goalkeepers. This thing, goalkeeper Edison. There's numerous times Edison's got 12, 14 seconds, which I counted off the clock, where he's got the ball after the booking, which is not acceptable. You're allowed six seconds as a goalkeeper. This is professional football. And I understand maybe eight seconds, but not fucking 14 second it's not and after he's been yeah. booked it needs to be clamped down it needs yeah. to be and and those those things slow momentums change games yeah. and, and they do okay and I think at the end he it may be hook and off because he weren't doing it I, I rate and a great player hook him off and bring Trossard on and, and Ma, I don't know what Martinelli did wrong to get hooked I don't and I think is, you, you, I think he should have gone into show, the middle is it starting to I think show he should have gone into the it, middle and then Trossard should, so and they could move around is it is it starting to show that we're, we're missing out on Jesus now. Is no, it no, 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 listen, he's a, Jesus is a world class player. Of course, you're going to miss it. It's like saying, it will City miss Harlem. He brings oh, a lot of energy into the team. 100%. Oh, a lot of energy. But, his work rate but is I think, unbelievable. But I think. And it rubs off on the team. And I feel like it's starting to, since he's been missing, we've got away with it now. And it's starting to show there's not much energy in fight. In the team. So, okay, do, do, does, Tross, does Trossard have energy? Does bit, Martinelli have energy? He's not like a horse, not like Jesus. Jesus is all over the place. Okay, so why why not hook Enkea and bring Trossard in? Yeah. Leave Martinelli. I, I, I feel Martinelli's a bit hard done by by being hooked for Trossard. I really rate the pair of them. Try yeah. that. Why, why, why not? They, they, if why not? If he's playing a striker, which Enkea comes in as, then Martinelli and an out and out striker. Okay, we're, but, we're clearly short but, up front, aren't we? But Martinelli can, we're, we're clearly short. short. We're Martinelli clearly can short. finish. Martinelli we don't have enough options up front. Listen, Martinelli can finish. Martinelli runs around. I, 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 I don't think he's supported. I don't think he's supported how he should be. And I don't. So put him in the middle. And Ketia, there was there was opportunities, there were chances. And at the end, at the end of it, things didn't, didn't go our way. When the third goal went in, it tore the arse out of the stadium and it all, you know, it went flat and it, it was finished. And, that, and that's the truth of it. There, there were some great points to take for Jorginho. Um, and do, do we deserve 3-1? I don't think we deserve the 3-1. I, really, I, I don't. But before, in the pre-match, pre I said, you know, that's why I was worried, a bit worried about this game. And the capitulation point, now we're dropping points with, you know, we've had like, what's it, draw, Everton. draw, and you know, loss, um, draw, we, we and lost loss. Against, yeah. You know, and, and don't forget, we ain't lost at the Emirates all season. And people say, oh yeah, it's Man City. Man City are on, facing charges for financial, not financial fair play, like for, for fucking <laughs> being hooky and doing, that. that's, 
the point with this. So we're up against a team that do that underhand sort of shit. Are we, are we that good? Yeah, we are. But the heads are dropping and we're not finishing some chances which we should have. And it, can, you, it, it, can, it, can you see Arsenal redeeming themselves, yes. Marty? Last, last, you know, last question before we wrap things up. Can of course, you, can, of course. Can, can they? Can themselves? they do it? Can, of course they, they, of course they still do it. Yeah, of course they can. There's no reason why they can't. Uh, but do they believe it? And is this set of results now we're going to see? We've got what we've got Villa and we've got uh, Bournemouth Leicester, we've got and we've got you know that is when you're going to see and whether they, this team can do it. Like not be funny, Villa. They, they, that's a team that. Well, Liverpool be are coming back strong. We've got to go over there to their place. Yeah, that, that's always kind of Anfield. Newcastle we've still got to go to their and, place. Yes, yeah, no, we, we've got that. we've got to go to City now. This guy, this game, I just personally think, and as I say, I respect Mikel Arteta. I just personally think the decision with Tommy Asu for Ben White, maybe bring Tommy Asu on afterwards. I just think that decision and my point proven. That's how the goal got given away, the first goal, and then we were up against it. Then we equalised, and 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 then. You know, that's it. it. That changes the game, and it does, with, without a doubt. It, it, there's no missing party. Jorginho, for me, has proved tonight that he can fill that role and he can do it. it it's, I, I just think uh, Arteta's a bit scared to change around the front three a little bit. Um, don't get me wrong. Listen, if we don't win it with this season, we will win it next season. We've got Balogun to come back. It, t mate, I'd love to see now having that option of bringing Balogun in. He's fucking top top scoring yeah. in, in, in the French league. Like, yeah. I'd love to see that now and see what he can next season produce here. I really would. Is, right. it, is it written off? Like, no, it's not. This game isn't going to decide the title. There's going to be twists and turns. I think it's just a bit disappointing um, that how the first goal went in against the runner play. We were all over them. There was periods of that match. We dominated and we were really that good. And they were against it and we could have scored more. There was a goal, there was a ball that was flashed across the six-yard box, which I think Enketia didn't quite get to. Like there was there was a, a lot of opportunities. Tommy Asu in front of goal, hit the target. You just got to hit the target. I get it. Not, not everything's I think uh, Zinchenko. I think he tried to do a few things to maybe prove to his ex-employees, yeah. the em employers that you know, oh, you know, I'm doing this and did some need this stuff, put us under pressure unnecessarily, and maybe yeah. if there was a change to be made, Zinchenko for um, Tierney, yeah. maybe make that change. Yeah. You know, Tierney's Tierney for seasons before has been one of our best Top players player. that you Top wouldn't player. you wouldn't dream of selling. Now Zinchenko mm. and I rate you know I rate them all. I I, I do, yeah. but. I just think, I, yeah. I think Zinchenko maybe should have come up at half time yeah. and then Tierney should have been given the fucking was it um, a go because um, early doors um, he looked like he wanted to prove a point um, Zinchenko he mm -hmm. was going at it with the little tricks and everything yeah. else it looked good and then when he came down there was it um, the wing when they were um, away from the, um, the clock end he looked like he had he was trying to prove a point but the problem is every time he got into the last third he just couldn't get past them, was it? Yeah. His ex play, I mean, his ex teammates, and, and, and I think that might be mental block or something. But yeah. Tierney would have been a different thing. And, and, yeah. and again, for me, why the fuck are you bringing Fabio Vieira? I'm not slandering. <laughs> why are you bringing him on to change? Yeah, it's not yeah. going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Gonna Fabio that. Vieira needs. Don't get me wrong. I think if he went out on loan next season or this season, I think he, you know, learn. He needs another season playing every single week. He needs to be in a team that he can play every single week and learn and, and learn from his league, not at Arsenal. And that's that we, we miss Emil Smith Rowe. Yeah. That's the player that you'd bring on. You yeah. know, in the last couple of games he's bought Fabio Vieira. And again, I'm not signed to him. I'm not I'm not like bring him. I just think he needs to go on like I can see his quality. I can see he will. He's just a bit lightweight for the Premier League and he needs more experience. He's a young player. He needs game time. He needs to be playing week in, week out to to, to, to develop and then I think he'll be a phenomenal player I really do I just All think right. at the moment he's not quite ready last last question man can Arsenal will Arsenal win the next game at least <laughs> who we got next he's, he's kind of hesitant now isn't who we got next <laughs> Aston Villa, I think. I think Villa's got to be a win. I'll say, yeah. I think it's Aston Villa. Do you know away. what? Do you know what the thing, yeah. the thing with this? And this, I'm going to just, just quickly I'm gonna, that because. Okay, we, I'm going to say, we'll I'm gonna say we'll how, how it is. Right? Time, I'm going to say how it is. I'm going to say Emery facing Arsenal again. I can, I'm not being, I'm not being negative. I can see Emery getting the three points and giving us the fucking what fuck, fucking us off and no. being like you got rid of me I'm fucking no. I am stamping on your well, shit and I'm compounding your misery that's that's the truth and that's well, how I see it at the moment well there you go lads it looks like we're ending it on a negative point there so uh, 
<laughs> Looks like we can oh, go and do that. Listen, I'm a positive, is, I'm a positive seems, guy, seems, and I don't mean to. It no, seems like see, it's the this, beginning of the capitulation. Yeah, this uh, is, it's so, all going wrong. The, uh, the Emirates is going to fall down, it's going to crumble, it's going to be an earthquake, <laughs> and we're going to fucking sell all our best players. Odegaard's going to fuck is, off to Real Madrid. This has been and fuck it, it's going to go, yeah, Saliba's going to go to PSG. Yeah. It's all going wrong now, and that's this, it. This we're, has fu been, we're fucked. This has no, been. This is not that. I've got to make light of it. Like, listen. I, I think it's, I think we've we've landed firmly on the ground now, guys. I think uh, we was in cloud nine. We're doing nice. a fucking Tottenham Hotspur. No, right. we don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, could, no one could do that with your fucking Beezer Homes League charity cha charity cup. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that's it. All right, listen. Thank you, Marty, and thanks to my man. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie, big up Charlie. Three points TV. Don't forget, man. Uh, check us out on the review. Um, free one man, what can I say man? Listen, catch us on the review. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Big up dubs and states. We see you on the other Big side. Big up Tommy Asu for fucking giving it to De Bruyne <laughs> and then De Bruyne stick it in the back of the net as well. Appreciate that. And well, also man, big up, big uh, up Tommy Asu. Asu. <laughs> big up Tommy Asu for not hitting the fucking target as well. Even though my nine-year-old daughter could have done that. Come on peeps, what are you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to the free pointers.